Um. This is the last week, um, the last days that I'm Amazon's artist in residence. For the past 10 weeks, I've been undergoing one of the most creatively exhilarating projects I've ever done in my career. Um, I got chose to be the artist in residence, and during that time, I have created a new body of work, and I've just been given this incredible space to just try, tinker, explore, and fail gloriously. The really dope thing about this is I was not given any particular artwork that needed to get made. Like there was nothing specific in the way of like size. There was nothing specific in the way of material medium that needed to get made. I was literally just given this open space to create. And at the end of the residency, I get to walk away with all the works that are here and choose one work to give to Amazon. I get to just enjoy the process of making art. You know, I just, and I get to just do it effectively. So it's been like something that's like truly been like transformational to what I've done. And it's, um, it's really great. Like I tried so many new things while I was here, like so many firsts. Um, I did my first like full scale oil painting. My entire practice has been rooted in like creating works from latex, interior and exterior house paint. So to be able to just be in a space where I'm like, I want to do something different and bust out a full scale 48 by 48 oil painting. I learned so much in the process of doing it. I also made a lot of large scale works that were similar to the style that I'm doing this year with me setting with works that I've done historically with new takes on it from past works that I've done. So that was super dope. Um, and all in all, I just made like a large body of work. I made 19 pieces in total of brand new work. And the dopest thing of it all is I literally shut off the internet and blocked myself away from the world. That's how supported I was here. And it turned out to be one of the most exhilarating art experiences that I've ever truly ever undergone. The work came out great. It's in all these different sizes and all these different dimensions. And it was just pure joy to be able to create it. Um, my time here has just been spent alone. I came in here every day of the week with the exception of the weekends and painted from the beginning of the day till the end of the day. I literally have been painting for 55 to 60 hours a week for five days a week for the past 10 weeks. And I couldn't be prouder. I couldn't be happier of myself. And I don't say that like in a braggadocious manner, like I'm really truly proud of the work that I've been able to create here. And I'm happy to feel fully supported. Supported in that I was just given a space. And then once I had said space, it was like, okay, cool. Now you go do you. Let us know if you need anything, but truly like you go do you. And I think it's crazy, we just don't get that enough. You know, there's always some side of oversight, you know, all these like really nasty ideas about artists and deadlines and being able to get stuff done. And it's just never real support, but this was true support. And the work turned out great. And I feel alive in a way that I just have. And I feel, I fell in love with me again. Um, I was just so mentally scrambled from running to project to project to project 
over the past few years and I've just been able to just get in here and just set and that just caused me to turn everything off. It's just been me, the brushes and the canvas and my ancestors and we've just been working in conjunction to develop something anew. I don't know what I'll do after this. I think that I'm just going to go set. Like I think I've really just spent so much time putting so much work into my hands that the key thing that I want to do is find some earth to put my hands in and to release all of this energy that I've built up over the past 10 weeks. Like that's one of the key things I'm going to do is going to go to the ocean and go put my hands in the sand and release everything that I felt. Um, I literally haven't touched another hand. I've like stayed away from shaking hands. I've worn gloves because I wanted to, this, this time has been so special and so personal to me. That's why it's called memoir. It's really reflective of my life, the works I've been doing and where I've just been at for the past years. Um, my studio practice has always been very private. I've never painted in front of people that wasn't like a mural. And with that, there's so many things you have to worry about, public art, people around you, things getting stolen, getting attacked, and everything else. So just to be inside this space that's got all this glass around and to be able to communicate with folks that are coming around and share my experience as a black artist has really been truly transformative. Um, I think I'm going to go sit, walk, reflect, and celebrate me. So, I hope you all enjoy the work. Peace.